I work at a gas station in the center of my town. My shifts aren't always the same, but I find myself on overnights and early mornings most of the time. I'd been there for a whole year at this point, and honestly, I didn't have many negative things to say about it. It was just a normal, mid-paying job that only required me to stand in one spot for eight hours and talk to the occasional customers. On this day, I was working an overnight shift, the typical 10 to 6, although it's usually not too busy overnight on the weekdays. It's worth mentioning that it was raining a decent amount this night, so I was expecting it to be a pretty quiet night. The first couple of hours, I sat at a chair behind the register and just waited for anyone to come in. I got a few people that paid for gas with cash, but by 12.30 or 1-ish, it was pretty much dead. No customers coming inside, and barely anyone even getting gas outside. Now, with absolutely no customers, I went around the counter and started fixing up the shelves a bit. They weren't too bad, but it was just a way to keep myself busy. As I was doing this, I had my back facing the windows, but I saw headlights glare through the store as someone pulled into the pumping stations. I didn't look because there was nothing interesting about it, just some guy pulling in to get gas. I kept on with tidying up the shelves for maybe 10 or so minutes before I unconsciously glanced out the window. The car was still there by one of the pumps with a man standing right next to it. As soon as I looked, the man shifted away, making it obvious that he was looking at me. After seeing that, I felt really weirded out, especially since they'd been there supposedly pumping gas for a whole 10 minutes. I went back to the counter, then checked out the window again 30 seconds later. Seeing the man getting in his car, the headlights flashed a few times, like he was trying and failing to turn it on, but he eventually got it running and drove away in a hurry. I stood there and just looked out the window for a minute, and something just really didn't seem right. I got an idea and pulled up the recent transactions for the pump he was at. The last time it was used was hours ago. He was there for 10 minutes with no valid reason. Reason at all other than watching me through the windows. I stayed behind the counter for a while, trying to just wait out the rest of my shift. A few more cars came and went, and then it got really quiet again for a while. Around 3 a.m., I heard something outside. The rain was heavy, but a rhythmic, shuffling noise on the ground was barely audible through it. Footsteps right along the side of the building, moving toward the back. I tried to look out the window, but there was no good view. I did notice that no cars were in the parking lot, or by the pumps though. I quickly left the counter and went to the back door, which was a heavy metal door that had no windows or anything on it. I pressed my ear against it and listened as the footsteps got louder and louder until they were right on the other side of the door. My eyes moved to the handle, waiting in the silence before the handle turned slowly and slightly, but getting caught by the lock. It went quiet again, almost a whole minute passed. Then a man's voice grunted in frustration as a sudden sharp sound slid across the other side of the door. Footsteps followed soon after, leaving and going back to the side of the gas station. I ran back to the front, waiting to see them walking away, but didn't get any sight of them. Acting quickly, I picked up the store phone and dialed 911, hoping they could catch him before he got too far. I didn't know what was really happening someone trying to get in through the back door had to have intended something bad. When the cops arrived, they didn't find the man. But what they did find was a car on the side of the road less than a quarter mile away. The 
same car I'd seen earlier with the man who was watching me. It had run out of gas and had mismatching license plates. Turned out to be some guy's missing car from two states over. The other thing they found was a long scrape across the back door made by a sharp metal object, likely a knife. Knowing all these details, I think I actually got extremely lucky as the man was probably on the run already and could have been planning anything. For the past couple of years, I've had the same job. I'm a janitor for a popular fast food restaurant. I don't take orders or anything at all aside from cleaning. I don't even see other workers a lot of the time because I'm scheduled overnight at the restaurant. Everything needs to be deep cleaned every day. And during open hours, it's basically impossible to do. I'd never had anything happen during my shifts aside from the occasional customer knocking on the window, asking if we're open. So on this night, I came in and got to work like I usually did. A couple of other employees were still there when I got there, but by 10, which was an hour after closing, it was just me for the rest of the night. I popped in my headphones and started scraping the grills, prepping everything that needed to be hosed down. After a while, I lost track of time, but my best guess is that it was around 12 a.m. when I heard a knock at the front of the building. I pulled off my headphones, hearing it again. I walked to the front, expecting someone at the door wanting to see if we were closed, but when I looked, nobody was there. I went up to the door and looked out at the parking lot. No cars or people. I knew I'd heard it from this side of the building, though, so I waited for it again, but there was nothing. I ended up thinking I just mistook another sound for knocking, and I went back to work. Another hour or so went by, and then I took a lunch break. I grabbed my lunch bag and sat at one of the tables in the middle of the dining area, taking my time since I was actually ahead on my cleaning. Once I finished eating, I went to the back and turned to grab the mop, only to see a man's face staring at me from outside the drive through window. He had messy hair and a blank face, but his eyes, his eyes had something strange about them, like they were empty. I froze up for a second, and after a moment, the man calmly turned and walked away. My heart was racing in my chest and I just stood in place, listening to his departing footsteps. I didn't know what to think. It was just incredibly creepy and strange. Once I got my confidence back, I opened the window and looked out to make sure he left. It was dark beyond the light of the restaurant, but I didn't see anyone, so I closed it up and locked it. I was on edge for the next hour, constantly looking behind me at the windows, feeling like I was being watched. As my shift was coming to an end, I started to feel some relief, and the anxiety calmed down. One of the last few things I had to do was roll all the garbage bags out to the dumpster, which I was avoiding as long as I could. I checked the window before I stepped out, and it looked clear so I quickly opened the door and got the garbage out. I started tossing them one by one into the dumpster, but not even 20 seconds in, the man appeared from around the corner. I stopped what I was doing and quickly asked what he needed. He didn't respond as he walked up to me and had that same empty stare. Now that I could see his whole body though, he was even more terrifying. Being a fairly large man and wearing a dirty and stained coat, not knowing what else to do, I ran for the door. I opened it as the man's footsteps rushed up behind me. And as I slammed the door shut, the man was able to stick his arm into the gap, preventing it from closing. I turned and sprinted to the other end of the restaurant, getting my keys out 
and unlocking the front door as fast as I could. Hearing the man closing the distance on me, I barely got away again and ran before he got to me. I sprinted across the parking lot as far as I could while calling the police. Five minutes later, the police got to the restaurant, but the man was gone. We got footage on the CCTVs, but no identity could be made of it. It also showed that as soon as I ran away, the man just stayed there and watched me for a bit, then left out the back door. What he wanted from me is unknown, but his creepy and objectively horrifying behavior gives me chills, even to this day. I was working late at the office one night. We have a big two-story building in a business complex, and sometimes, if we have to catch up on work, we kind of have to stay late. I had taken two sick days the week before, so I really had to get my project done and didn't have much time left to do it. I planned to stay a few hours this night and a few hours the next night to get caught up, leaving anywhere between 1 and 2 a.m. Often, others would be there late as well, but this night, it was just me. I was working at my desk, which was in the middle of a whole room full of desks. As I typed away on my laptop, though, I started to get a little drowsy, and after fighting it for a bit, I got up to make some coffee in the break room. I started the machine and leaned against the table, barely keeping my eyes open as it slowly poured into the mug, but a sudden thud shook me awake. It sounded like it was downstairs, but it was really loud, resonating through the whole building. Nothing followed the sound, though. It was just the one thump. I walked over to the doorway and looked out at the stairs, debating whether or not to see what it was. Honestly, I was so tired. I thought it had to just be something falling in one of the rooms downstairs and chose not to investigate. I grabbed my mug and went back to my desk, continuing to work. I sat there for an hour, non-stop working, but the coffee really wasn't fixing my sleepiness problem. I kept working though, trying to power through it, but I was only prolonging the inevitable. At some point, I dozed off at my desk. When my eyes opened, I remember being immediately irritated and somewhat dizzy, like I'd been annoyingly woken up from a deep sleep. As I regained my senses though, I noticed a sound coming from somewhere in the building. It was a beep sounding every four or five seconds, but was very faint. I looked at my laptop. Seeing it was nearly 2 a.m., I decided it wasn't worth trying to work anymore. So I packed up my things and brought them with me as I left the room to both check on the beeping and to leave afterward. As I got to the stairwell though, the beeping started to make me nervous. I'd never heard it before, and there was something eerie about it. Maybe I was too tired before to fully comprehend it. I walked down the staircase, and now, with the beeping much louder, I peered into the long main hallway. At the far end, there was a metal rod laying on the ground right in front of the open entrance door. I felt blood rush from my face, knowing it should be locked up, and realizing the beeping was from the building security system. With nothing but instinct to go off of, I ran down to the opposite end of the hallway and out the back door, getting in my car to call for help. Although I was out of the building, what I learned next was far more terrifying. Police pulled in and searched around not finding anyone or anything. That's when we checked the security cameras. At 11 p.m., a man could be seen walking up and breaking the door open with a single hit from some kind of tool. Cracks in the bangs echoed through the footage, sound that I heard while getting coffee. He then quietly moved around the first floor and up to the second, where he came into the office I was in 
stood quietly, only a few feet behind me, while I was working at my desk. He then went back downstairs, coming up again while I was sleeping and walking around the whole office, even going right up to me and searching around my desk. It's not clear if he stole anything, as there weren't cameras in every room, but there didn't seem to be any obvious answer as to what he was doing there. After seeing the security tapes, though, I've never stayed alone at that office again. <laughs>